In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the rib tool in Onshape to create a rib. Uh, I've got an example here that I made earlier. I've added a rib uh, as a support for this shape. So I've got this rib here just selected in the middle uh, as a support there. All right, so look at how to create something like that. And what I'll do is I'm just gonna delete everything that I've got so far. Just get rid of that part. Start with a new sketch. So click on the sketch tool select the top plane for this and just create a simple rectangle here. And I'll extrude that. And I'll just leave the depth as 25 millimeters. And then what I'll do is I'll create another sketch. And this time, instead of selecting the top plane, I'll just click on the top surface of this uh, shape that I just created. And I'll draw a line across the top of it from one end to the other, making sure that I snap on to each of those edges there. Click the green tick. And now I'm going to just extrude that section there. So select that surface there. And uh, I'll use the same depth as I had before. All right, so there we go. I've got a bit of a, a shape created. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna have a line that's gonna go from here down to here. So from this edge, on the top of the shape here, down to this surface here. And that's what I'm gonna use uh, to create uh, the rib. All right, so again, we'll have to, uh, I'll just select that little point there, which is where I'm gonna snap my line onto. And um, we'll have to create a new sketch. And I'm going to be drawing this in the right plane. All right, and I'll click that little point there, which is where I'm gonna start my line off from. Okay, and uh, I'm going to snap it onto uh, this point here. I might just uh, swap views there. And I'm not gonna worry about this too much because this is just a, a, just a practice drawing, uh, but it's gonna be pretty close from that corner up there down to this surface here. And then I'll just click the green tick. All right, so we should have now a line going down the center there. All right, next thing to do is to click the rib tool. Okay, and the first thing you'll need to do is select a sketch profile to create the rib. So that's gonna be the line that I just created there. Click on that. And then I'm gonna click on parts and select uh, the part, this, this shape that I've created. I'll click on that part. And there we go, easy as that, got a rib. Now I didn't quite get the, the line right there before. So um, if I spent a little bit more time on that, I could have just made sure that I snap that to the right, oops, snap that to the uh, right edge there, that, that point there. There's a little bit of a gap there. Um, but uh, what we can do is we can change the direction as well. So if you find that when you do this the first time, it looks like this, just make sure you click on opposite direction there just to fix that up and create the rib, the rib inside that area there. Uh, and you can also change the thickness here as well. All right, so you can just uh, change the amount there uh, for your for the thickness of the rib. And that's it, just click on the green tick when you're done. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.